Nittany Lion Roar, Extreme Panda here, and we have a tournament going on with Buff Booster, and I get to use my favorite four-star hero, Regard, Costume Regard specifically, uh, for this event. And Tubertus is another really good one, um, this Duke of Rock character. Uh, so these are some great costume heroes to use for this event. So far, only two people have attacked me. I've won them both. Uh, so I feel kind of lucky there. I don't have any emblems on my defense. In fact, um, for the three-star tournaments and the four-star tournaments, uh, it does make it tough because I just don't put emblems on my three- and four-star heroes. There's an argument to be made to put them on Regard, but um, I have them on a different hero right now, a five-star hero. So, all right, let's see how we do. Um, a lot of the these first few should be pretty fair competition. It's really the later days where it gets tough when start facing defenses with um, maxed emblems on it. Um, there's very little room for error. I'm going to run with a 3-2 team here. I really like Carol in this buff event because he gives two buffs. Uh, and then I'm taking three of this uh, effect here um, where you dispel buffs. So hopefully I can manage. Um, the, board, the board is not great. I mean, there's stuff I can do. Uh, so I want to figure out how I can work it. Maybe I'll just start off. I can make a red dragon bomb, but I think I get more out of it just by setting off this chain. Yeah, let's just go ahead and set this off. Okay, so Boral's about to go off, and that's a really bad thing. Uh, let's just set off a huge chain reaction. That wasn't as big as I was expecting. It's because a surprise match happened in an area where I thought it was going to set off a couple more. So I'm just going to plow right through Boral. Blue Diamond. All right, this is why I love Carol. Um, do I want to hit Wilbur? I don't mind hitting Wilbur. His attack stat's not that high. Oh, but he's getting plus 580. That's pretty good. Maybe I maybe I just go after Regard. There's a lot of healers on this defense. As you're going to see, though, um, having too many healers or just non-active heroes isn't really that great uh, because yes it's, it takes a long time to defeat the opponent the team I'm attacking but they're not really killing me so that's why it's not great to put a bunch of healers on defense or at least I don't recommend it um, I, th I personally believe and this is actually just a personal style choice but I personally believe faster, more aggressive defenses are the way to go. Because if they get a bad board, if the person attacking your defense gets a bad board, um, they usually can't recover from an aggressive defense. They're just getting, you know, the defensive heroes are getting hit with bad tiles, and then they just all go off and wipe out the team. So if there's a bunch of healers on defense, it just gives the attacker time to fix a bad board. All right. Next up, we have Jabber. 
kind of forget what Jabber does. Okay, so it's like the it's like the anti-healing thing. It dispels um, status ailments. All right, I could just roam with the same team. It's a pretty good team. And it's green heavy for the blue flank. Might as well. Hmm. Two blue tiles. I'm just going to have to get rid of a bunch of tiles to start this off. Just trying to get all the greens to bunch together. I think this... Um, I'm not sure if this is going to do what I want it to or not. I'll get to set off a little bit of a... Um... Oh, what do you call it? Cascade. Got to set off a little cascade is what I'm trying to say. And costume regard is so good. So good. Who's the threat? I think Khalil's the threat. All right, see, um, and then they have a bunch of non-aggressive heroes left. Um, so it's two healers and Boral. I can just avoid Boral. All right. So, um, not trying to be too critical of the first two defenses I face, but I'll show you what I'm doing with mine that I think's a little better. Uh, I see I have a healer, and it's costume regard, because the more buffs the defense has, the more it gets this like higher innate attack too in this particular style of tournament. And regard gives a couple of buffs here. Um, the regeneration is a buff. And the plus 48% attack is a buff. And, and that plus 48% attack is doubly good uh, in this particular tournament. But do you see the rest of my heroes are more aggressive? There's three fast snipers, basically. And uh, then there's costume Tabertus. And I love Tabertus on the left flank because um, heroes fire from left to right on the defense. But it's not quite that simple. It's really front to back, then left to right. So Tiberta should be the second hero to go off over a long period of time, like with a bunch of attacks. And so when Tiberta goes off and does the defense down, then Cade Monsonia and Triton will go off and take advantage of that defense down. And also Triton gives that buff as well, the plus 39% increase for any healing received. So that's just... There's a bunch of buffs on this particular defense and only two heroes. Okay. Continuing on. Yeah, let's just keep running with this team, I guess.
Not my favorite thing setting Cyprian off, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. I feel safe to fire Sonya at him because um, he won't do much damage. He doesn't have much life left. But it might be enough for me to actually use the green match to kill him too. So maybe I just fire away at, let's say, costume regard. Ouch. I gotta try and hurry now. I only have green heroes left. So... I can use Buddy to basically, I'm going to have to sacrifice him to do this, but I can use him to dispel everything that Regard is doing. Because Regard's going to give an attack boost. Uh, and um, well, just basically the attack boost. And he's got the defense boost already. And Buddy can take those away. All right, can Melindor kill me? Melindor does have a really high attack stat. Look at that, that's five star level. So him with the attack boost is actually kind of dangerous. Buddy is like a fake healer too because he gives those minions so he and he's got a fat butt he's got that 1323 hp which is also like a five star level type of hp so he gives big minions all right So this is interesting. This is a costume regard, but it's set on the regular one. All right, question. Do I want to go blue heavy because of the reds? I think I probably do. And we have another Sonia. But this one I want to send to regular. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Do I even want green heroes, though? I don't think I mind. It's not like my red heroes are better. Yeah, I think I'll run with that. Two purple diamonds. I guess that's fine.
Okay, who is more dangerous? Probably the right side. I feel like if I can kill Colin, or Colin or whatever his name is, then I should be okay. I don't like that Boltusk is going to heal, though. How much life does he have? 60? I don't think one green tile will kill him. Um, if I kill... Let's try this. Let's just kill Bold Tusk while I can. Let's make this green dragon bomb thing. Okay, and then I think that blue should finish Colin off. Good. All right. I don't want to use Kirill yet because Sabina will erase him. Might as well just kill Regard now. And then let's go some tiles. We'll let Sabina go off. And then we'll go to town. Just wiping out the defense. Okay. There we go. And last one. Interesting defense. Three level 20 emblemed heroes. Don't know that I really want to take green heroes. But what would I take otherwise? I've got a lot of really good blue ones. I guess I could take purple here. I probably should. Um, kind of like Gafar. He's fast. I like Proteus too. But I don't want to take two average speed heroes. Plus, this Proteus is is uh, very fragile. Okay, see, Costume Regard and Kirill do a very similar thing. And I know a lot of you are going to be shocked, but I'm, I think Kirill is better in this situation. Uh, because I like the defense bonus that he gives. Um, although... Oh, gosh, I put in Cheshire Cat. Not what I'm trying to do here. Okay. So there's two... Gormax, which do the defense down thing. Which Regard is good for, but so is Kirill. Yeah, Kirill's better. Because Kirill can erase the defense down anyway, and there's no other ailments coming from this defense. Blue Dragon Bomb, but I deplete my blue tiles then. I don't think I want to do that. I can set off a Cascade now.
Nice. That is good. And these Cademans are going to do a number on me, though. And the one on the left is very, very strong. If I use Tobertus now, Rigard's going to erase it, but uh, I definitely need to use Gafar. Can I kill Gafar? I think I can. Nice. All right, that worked out. Well, Caveman's going to erase my buffs, but that's all right. I didn't realize that Cademon was also charged. So I'm going to get my buffs erased again. It's okay. I think this outcome's inevitable. Okay. And there it is. Day number one of the buff booster tournament four star heroes thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe